Hey, what's up you guys? Time is back with another Linton's video. Today I have two fragrances to discuss, but before I get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, an automobile. If you are in that automobile, please pull over to the side. We don't need any accidents. Watch me there. Decide what you're going to buy, do your shopping right afterwards, and then go on about your day. But if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. Big thumbs up. But, again, if you guys are uh, returning, thank you. You guys are the reason for these videos. You guys are the MVPs of these videos, the returners, the the punt returners, the kick returners, without you guys, there's no, other, that, that you guys set up the offense. You guys set me up with the returns, the the punt returns, the kickoff returns, the knowledge you guys set me up, and I knock them down, score the touchdown. Anyways, two fragrances I got, kind of some cheapies, if you will, one of them is Dirt Cheap. And the second is cheap as far as it's less than 20 bucks, if you can find it for that price, okay? Now, both of these I picked up at the rack stores, one of them being from TJ Maxx. The other one was from Burlington. And now these two right here, before I get into them, you know, summer is, well, not for everybody, but summer, you know, once August hits, summer pretty much comes and goes pretty much. Next thing you know, fall is here and then pretty much that warm weather is gone. Now, maybe you've worn all your warm weather fragrances already and now you're just like, uh, got to go, go through that Profundo again. I got to go through Aqua de Gio. I got to go through some Doge and Gabbana forever again. I've just wore that. I need something new. Now, these aren't brand new releases, but if you see them in the wild, hey, give them a, a shot, okay? Now, the first one I actually bought about a week ago, did kind of like a short video of it, didn't come off right, so I'm here to let you guys know about it now, okay? This one is from the house of Tehari, okay? Now, you guys will see these at TJ Maxx, there's usually no box, just sitting out on the display area okay we got the red we got a blue we got a black we got all that but this one is the green lemon grass now what this fragrance reminds me of a more green take on aqua de jus perfumo so think of aqua de jus perfumo but you take it up a notch with more greenery more more outdoorsiness okay Whereas Aqua de Joe Profumo has that nice little kick at the end, that little bit of incense that kind of gives it that nice, sexy, matureness about it. This one kind of gives it this more of a playfulness about it. This is like Profumo, but then you just take that Profumo and just make it more green, if you will. Okay, so this would definitely give you the vibes of Aqua de Joe um, Profumo or just the regular, but then you'll get this nice, like minty, green, earthy. Uh, smell in the background so which is very nice the green the green earthiness that you get with this fragrance is actually very nice you get a nice sharp opening nice citrusy opening but it's nice and fresh it's bright now the problem with these fragrances are is they're not gonna last long at all but you're paying 12 dollars for this okay so now i mean if you are to the point where you just like why am I buying this? Honestly, honestly, the only people that probably should be buying these fragrances, honestly, in my opinion, is if maybe, you know, money is the issue. You don't have that much money. You just need something to smell good. Then you get this. But if you are a collector, you know, a collector like me, someone who's got, you know, 300 bottles, someone's got even over 100, you might not want to get this just because of how cheap it is, uh, the performance lacks. But... It does smell pretty good. Now, if you just need something to maybe freshen up the car a little bit, maybe to just lounge around the house with, maybe you want to smell kind of like that Aqua de Joe Profumo with a little bit more green and earthiness to it, 
give this a shot. You could wear this to the office. You could wear this to the gym. You could wear this to school. You could wear this on a business meeting. You can wear this on a plane. You're not going to offend anybody. Again, they're going to like that bright, crisp, fresh opening. Again, think of Aqua de Joe Profumo, but you put more greeny type things in there, okay? Minty, kind of coriander-ish, that type of stuff, okay? So a little bit more green, but Aqua de Joe Profumo variant, okay? Just think of more greenery, okay? And then when it starts to dry down, you start getting that woods, the, the nice woody earthiness, okay? So... This one, again, $12 to Hari. Again, you can get this at TJ Maxx. Again, you can wear this probably in the spring and the summer. You can wear it in the fall. Again, indoors is fine. Outdoors is fine. It might fade fast. It might even work better for some of you guys. If you guys start sweating, maybe it starts projecting a little bit more. But that is that Tahari lemongrass. <clears throat> Next up is a fragrance I bought probably about a month or two ago. The first time I wore it, I absolutely loved it. This fragrance kind of reminded me a little bit of Creed Royal Waters because it has kind of almost similar uh, notes as far as like citrusy and then it's got that green uh, green vibe as well. This one has that vetiver and a little bit of geranium and rose and stuff like that too. But this one is called Boise de Vetiver. Boise de Vetiver by Carl Lagerfeld, okay? This stuff, you guys, man, this stuff smells great. If you guys see this at Burlington, it might cost you about $25. It might even cost you $30. Now, yes, you can get this on Fragrance X, Fragrance Net for probably about $20. On the other hand, you're going to be waiting for about a week and a half with shipping. First, your fragrance is going to sit in a state that makes no sense as far as the route. Next thing you know, it's going to make its way somewhere in uh, Switzerland next. And then next thing you know, it's going to end back up in your home state. It's going to sit at the post office for like four and a half weeks. And then by the time winter comes, this fragrance will show up at your doorstep. So you can grab this right away if you see it at Burlington, okay? Now, I think I've seen this one and one other fragrance there, but I really wanted this Boise de Vetiver, okay, this thing. Again, think of Royal Waters with that green, but where Royal Waters is different is that the green is more of the the, the star of that fragrance, okay? Yes, you do get like a little bit of bergamot, and then you get some of this minty, and I think there's like, um, there's some kind of green in Royal Waters. I forget what it is, but there's green in here as well. There's like mint. I think there's something else. There's some, you got vetiver, you got... Who the hell knows? Who cares? This stuff, you guys, smells great. Great for a nice warm day. This is going to be great for the office as well. Great for that airplane ride. Great for school. Great for the gym afterwards. You literally could wear this at any given time, okay? You're not going to obviously wear this out in the winter in the dead cold. But if you want to wear this to work on a winter day, you just wait until you get inside and then spray it and then you're good to go. But, I mean, I'm going to spray this one more time. And, you know... Where this fragrance really shined for me is the first time I wore this, I wore this to a water park. Water park for uh, of all places, a water park. And this fragrance actually held up to the putting on suntan lotion, putting on, uh, swimming in all that uh, chlorine and stuff, sweat, all those different smells and scents that you can go through. This fragrance held up really nice, even at the water park. Man, it's bright. It's got that citrusy opening. It's got a little bit of mint that kind of cools it down a little bit. And then you get that earthiness, that nice earthy stuff, a little bit of rose that kind of gives it this nice playful youthfulness. It's almost, it's not like that dark rose. You're not going to think of like a dark rose fragrance. It's more of like that playful rose like you get in Toy Boy, okay, like that. But then you add a little bit of like this greenery. You add a little bit of this citrus. This is what you get. The Boise, the Vetiver, Boise, the Vetiver, whatever the hell it is, boy, Boise, booty, the Vetiver, who cares what the hell it is, as long as it smells good, even he likes it, look at that face, good stuff, good, good, good stuff, guys, man, do not sleep on this one right here, okay, 
Now, this is definitely the sleeper of the two. This is just the, you know what? I got to freshen up the room a little bit. I got to freshen up my car. Hey, I'm just going to sit around the house and watch 600 pound life all day. What the hell? Let's spray this on and you're just going about your day. But again, think of that Aqua de Joe, just a little bit more green. Okay, think of Aqua de Joe Profumo, a little bit more greenery. So it makes it a little bit more um, on the younger side of things than Aqua de Joe Profumo. Remember, Profumo is like the more mature take of the original Aqua de Joe. You take this and you just bring it down a little bit to Aqua de Joe, the original's uh, DNA, and then you just add, make, make it a little bit more green. That's all. Pretty much that is it. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed both of those little fragrances right there. Again, if you can grab at least the Boise de Vetiver, I highly, highly suggest that one. Lemongrass, add this one. You can actually go there and smell, see for yourself. Again, with TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, whenever you see some of these unboxed fragrances, don't be scared to spray it and walk around the store a good 10 times, okay? Just do a couple laps if you must. Go to the bathroom, go to the doggy section, go to the woman section, do the go to the kitchen section, go through all that. And then you can kind of tell. You can kind of give it the 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 test, if you will, the performance test on these fragrances. Okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.